everyone, welcome to our new show, our podcast, Canada Over Coffee. Well, today we're joined with our dynamic crew of hosts. Hi guys! <laughs> Hello! I'm Jade. <laughs> this is Brittany, this is Jordan, this is Kalissa. And we're joined very specially here today with Imani Charles. She is a final year student studying communication studies and a minor in gender development. And she's also the gender affairs officer on the guild. And also, she has published two books. Yeah, two so books. Two books. Two books. And books. Yes. Which is, which is great. I love yeah, a good poet. So she is. Yeah. Icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Strong woman. Right? <laughs> Why can't it over coffee? What started off as two conversations between two friends on just relationships, navigating 20s. We were having lunch, and then we were just like, you know, we should have a podcast. And then we was like, you know, we, we should have, have a podcast. podcast. <laughs> and after many trial and errors, we are here today yes. to have our very first episode. So we hope you all enjoy. Right, now that we started it off, this is like a safe space also. So if you're home, go and get your food, go and get your tea, and get ready. Yeah. We're going to start. So let's get to the So, we're just going to ask you a couple of questions. Sure, so, no first question is, can you tell us about your blood bank initiative? Yeah. Right, period, period bank. bank. Yes. Okay, so the period <laughs> bank is a collaboration between the Gender Affairs Office, between IGDS Ignite. IGDS stands for the Institute of Gender and Development Studies. Mm -hmm. So, IGDS Ignite is a student-led advocacy club that's kind of an offshoot of IGDS. And the SAC Committee, so the Student Activities Committee on the Guild, and what we're essentially trying to do is to contend with the issue of period poverty on our campus. Because I think that we come to school every day and we forget that this is a university and we are the change makers. Yeah. And it matters how we feel and that we're safe and healthy and comfortable, especially with regards to menstruating. Because, you know, your menstrual health, that's like a, that's a basic human right. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's a basic human right. So what the bank is intended to do is to kind of target those areas where access is low, where people don't have what it is they need to navigate their, their menstrual health safely. So it, it kind of is rolling out in steps. So SAC would have launched like the first shoot of the period bank itself, the gender affairs. Right, exactly. So the gender affairs office and IGDS launched um, our menstrual necessities and habits survey which because everything we do is really strategic right mm -hmm. we're a feminist organization at least my gender affairs officer yeah. feminist organization <laughs> we have to be strategic about what it is we're doing yeah so we launched this survey to get a sense of the needs of the students we want to know do you all even want a period back right what it is your what do you use right and we've gotten overwhelming results showing the need for this bank with people telling us like they don't get to be as hygienic as they'd like to be because they have to stretch their products because of a lack of access. Periods of period products are so expensive. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's so expensive. They tax. They tax. It's terrible. It's and so it's a shame so now. Way. Recently, I also saw that certain mm -hmm. stores are not providing a smaller package of it. Yeah, they yeah. Must it's get a bigger huge one. Any man, and now we spend money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, and you know, you could work it out and say, even if you buy the big pack, it works out to more, but you have to have the capital to yeah. purchase that $100 yeah. pack yeah. of pack yeah. in exactly. first place. And then you right? have to do this every month. Every yeah. single yeah. month. Because you menstruate, and overwhelmingly, people on this campus have medium to high flows. Yeah, yeah. some people yeah. yeah. don't even stop. Exactly. Some people have yeah. months right long. Right. Yeah. 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 So. And ways in which students have to go. Right. Also, more. the doctor and oh, some yeah. Yeah. Some of them have to wear yeah. more than one as well. Too, yeah. I had a friend who had to do that. Imagine. I've also had to. Yeah. The amount that you have to pay for pack of periods. Yeah. yeah, that's a yeah. necessity it's for a necessity, us. Correct. So, like me, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. My friends with endometriosis. I have endometriosis. We, right, we bleed a lot. We bleed a lot. Yeah. And that little pack is safe for you. That little thing. It that's does not gonna nothing. It's so expensive. Yeah. You know? So what we're essentially trying to do with the gender affairs office, what we're doing, the next phase is to kind of assess the bathrooms. Are they period ready? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know that bathroom like that. where the bin is outside of the yeah. stall? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So what we want to do is kind of assess how period ready our bathrooms are. Are they equipped? Do they have what we need for us to menstruate properly, yeah. right? Most times, no, but we're going to check that out. And then the next phase is to actually like reach out to Bride and Pie and people that can sponsor. We need donations. Okay, yeah. We want to reach out to 
feminist NGOs that are already doing period banks because you don't have to start from scratch, right? Yeah, that's exactly. a great thing about it. Let's get inspiration. Exactly. And then and the final step is to actually launch the bank. And we're hoping, we're lucky that the guild at least is situated within the infrastructure of the university. So we can go and say, hey, you know, menstruating students make up this percentage of the population. They need to be safe. They need to be comfortable. Can you give us a little, give me a little money to Thank get you. Yeah. a, a, a yeah. bank? Yeah. No, that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not like it's not your students. Right, yeah. it's your students. You need us. Exactly. You need us. So that's the idea, and that's kind of the steps that we're taking. You know, and it's more than just about like, oh, you need to have a pad. You need to have a pad. It's about the real life implications of menstrual health, of comfort, of missing classes and missing assignments because yeah. you can't get out of bed yeah. because you yeah. don't have what that you need. That isn't talked about enough. It's not talked about that enough, talked about and it's enough. a genuine impediment to the yes. education of young women, young girls, and all students who menstruate. It's an impediment, right? Yeah. And then you grow up and you look at older women. My aunt, she runs an NGO, and there's women who use their children's diapers and rags because they don't yeah. have access to menstrual products. Wow. So we're starting small, we're starting on the scale that we can operate on. Yeah. But the idea is to get something going, something how to move, Anything. something how to shape. Yeah. Like, <laughs> something how to shape. Start a revolution. Start yeah. a revolution. Yeah. Yeah. I'm part of the army now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It only takes us far. It only takes us far. Right, right, yeah. So yeah, that's what the menstrual bank is all about. So you know, if you haven't filled out the survey, it's only John Lopez on Instagram, guys. Fill it out. But, <laughs> yeah, that's Stay what we're doing. Wrong. I Thank actually so thought Thank you. Oh, I'm kind of lost on that one. I'll too. get on it though. Well, we are actually thinking of starting a menstrual equity subcommittee, mm -hmm. a subcommittee of the Gender Affairs Office that deals specifically with that kind okay. of thing. Okay. So keep close to the Instagrams. We will release it mm -hmm. if that keep is the group sound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. That's a yeah. lot because going to uni, I did not know about this so yeah. at all. It's only in conversation with somebody who's like, oh, you know, we have a period bank initiative. It's like, we oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is this yeah. book kind of about like, more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. There's also another question. So, how has your perceptions on menstruation changed since doing this? So, um, the thing is that when I when I started menstruating, right, my mom was like menopausal. And my mom is like close to 40 years old on me. So I started menstruating. My mom didn't really tell me anything about it because that wasn't her life. That was an experience. She didn't have anything to do with that. So when I started menstruating, it was like, okay, I knew this was coming. I'm prepared for this. And because there's nobody in my household being like, Oh, oh, you're bleeding all of the bathroom. Like, there was nothing like that. Yeah. I didn't even know there was like a stigma yeah. around Around it. Yeah. Until like the secondary school. Yeah. Maybe like wow. form three or four. Yeah. Right? Because I was going to the bathroom. I put my pad in the pocket, the breast pocket of my shirt. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this girl was like, oh my gosh, you can't do that. You can't do that. And I was like, whoa. 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 So I didn't oh, even yeah. know yeah, that men well. had opinions on periods. Yeah. That wasn't yeah. a thing that I knew and about. Oh, yeah. so it's a like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? So that stigma, I think that when I started off as the gender affairs officer, in my interview for the position actually, they were like, there's a period bank that's active and operational. Are you going to keep it going? I was like, I didn't know there was one. And if you are going to keep it going, yeah. Yeah. for sure. Because not everybody is as like, um, like me, because I, I grew up as a feminist. I was a feminist my whole life. I had access to Tumblr at like 10. I didn't have a choice but to be a feminist, yeah. you know? And so this the whole stigma and the, oh, you, you can't show your pad and you have to hide your pad and yeah. everything. And, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm on my period. And, and that kind of shush, shush, shush way of apologizing. Yeah, I don't want that way growing up. Like, yeah. I was. When I used to first got my period, I was given a period bag. That was like the first thing. You need to know how to. Yeah. So you go into the washroom, yeah. you have yeah. to conceal yes. it. You yeah. have to like walk and make sure everything is in the bag. Don't let nobody know what you're going to do in your washroom. So yeah. I oh. grew up that way and I have a bunch of sisters. Yep. So imagine it's a family of women basically and yeah. still. Yeah, yeah, it's still, yeah. still in talk about it any funny. Yeah. Yeah. My dad is there. I wouldn't because I'm like, it's not a taboo topic. It's right. only a taboo topic if you make it a taboo topic. Yeah. Right. So I talk about it openly. <laughs> yeah, I got it's my a natural period. thing that happens. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say going to an all-girls school as well too, uh, in the bar, they may have to like, yeah. 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 <laughs> so it doesn't make a sound. Think about it. Just like, why are you doing that? Exactly. Yeah. Just yeah. Really no, now I don't care. Bad, bad, bad. No, now I definitely sense. don't care. Mm -hmm. When you're in our yeah. class with all boys, because my feel is mainly male mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm in the front of a lecture and I'm like, oh no. You know what you yeah. 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 I have to pull out a pad. Mm -hmm. yeah. My lecturer is a male. 
Yeah. And I'm like walking up <laughs> these stairs and you're hearing it crinkling. Crinkling, like, yeah. It could be a snap. I was asking guys, I was just like, just like, we don't care. Yeah. And I love that, you know, guys, mm-hmm. are lots of guys in my life. But they're learning. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're learning. Yeah. They're learning. Yeah. I, will nice. see, yeah. I will give them their credits as well, too. Where do you? I'll mm-hmm. give them their credits. The conversation about mental equity has to include education. Yeah. yeah. Because we take it yeah. for granted, you know, like at this stage we're college educated mm-hmm. by yeah. young people. We take it for granted that we knew how to deal with our period. Yeah. Like when it came, I was like, okay, 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 okay. I know what to do. I'm yeah. home. Yeah. I have my cards in my room. I know what to do. Yeah. yeah. And even then there was so much that I had to figure out on, on your my own. own yes. That I can't imagine not having that kind of Okay, I know this is coming. I'm prepared for this. I know yeah. what to do. No formal guidance. I could guidance. not imagine not. Yeah. You just wake up one morning and you're and bleeding. Like, yeah. I would go and you insane. have to stay with that because who am I going to tell who that I'm you bleeding out of my exactly. vagina? That's strange. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. You don't There's know so what it shame. is. There yeah. is so much shame about it. So that we need to start with ending the shame of the vagina. Stop saying yeah. the same yeah. vagina. Yeah. That's Stop why I said it's true. Yeah. There's a lot of points that we don't discuss when it comes to periods. That's the whole point of things like this mm-hmm. yes. you no know, discussions and podcasts where we get to bring awareness to certain topics so yeah, yeah. it's so, good thank you guys very much for being a part of this with us for being our first guest yeah, yeah. 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 guys we're not talking about thank you thank you <laughs> rolling. i hope that this isn't the end of the conversation right yes. Yes. you know this sparks the interest for other people to be a part of this, thank you for taking the time as well to be a part of this. Waking up early. <laughs> I do it. And you're fine on So thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. I love doing my thesis, guys. It's crazy. Oh. Ooh. 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 It's crazy. <laughs> you're doing it on this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're doing Soka and Caribbean identity. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Just as good. We love that. Just as important. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 So thank you for being here. You're so welcome. Thank and um, well, don't go anywhere because now we're going to hear from the students. Yes, and from what you. they have to say about periods. So yes. Look forward to that. And we'll see you in a bit as well too. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys, so welcome back. Now that the interview portion is over, we're going to just have candid discussions. Mm-hmm. So we went around campus and we engaged with the students in conversations about menstruation. And we have some questions that we would like to answer for ourselves. So I'm going to start with we'll take one out today. The magical teapot. Let's mm-hmm. see what's These in are here. Questions from you all. Yes, and for educational purposes, and this is not any form of like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question is, the first myth I would like to say is periods are dirty slash something to be ashamed of. False. Immediately no. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No. Immediately no. We need to stop the stigma that when our, when we are on our period, our hygiene magically decreases yeah. tenfold. That's yeah. that's not true. Because periods are natural. Periods yeah. Are exactly. That happens when you for get every a single cut, month. it's the same look. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same look. Mm-hmm. And it's actually, we become even more careful with our hygiene when we are on exactly. our period. Exactly. Yeah. So to call it dirty is actually kind of insane. It's just yeah. a breaking down. Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's not biology. Yeah. Exactly. biology. And not to it's say not we kind of like we just go in and just turn it all over people. No, like, that's how they yeah. act. Though. Exactly. That's how yeah. they act. True. Yeah. Very yeah. True. Careful yeah. And like you said, our hygiene goes up when we are not period. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Very, oh. very, very mindful. 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 Oh, okay. yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Classic. Just classic. Yeah. Just, 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 just make sure yeah. 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 And you feel like you've been yeah. tilted yeah. and it's yeah. like, oh, have yeah. a jacket in case you need to do a little tie around your waist. Outfit change, outfit change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. who want to go next? I'll go next. Okay. Shaking it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your first experience having your first period. Oh, wow. So, um, my first period, I can't remember how old I was, but my mom bought me a cake. Aww, <laughs> she bought you. me a period cake as like oh a, a celebration. She did talk to me about it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had conversations in primary school about mm-hmm. it, but I was one of the final persons to get mine. Aww. I think I was in like form one or something. She made yeah. me try on yeah. just so that when it comes, but I think I was home, it was in July, August. Okay. Yeah, she got me a nice little cake. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Very I can't, it wasn't red velvet cake though. 
Oh. Well, I was not gonna ask you. Was it red? <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. I think it was like a black forest cake or something. Okay. Oh, that's that's like, it's it's okay. a big deal yeah. to celebrate. She loves to celebrate everything. Yeah, me ask you. Um, what about you? all your Christmas experiences? Well, mine was also in Form One. I don't know. I had this whole thing where um in primary school this is where most of everybody was like, yeah. Oh my gosh, I got it, oh my gosh, I got it. And yeah. just they're like What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? So eventually I just went without really like caring. Okay, fine, it's not coming for me and mm -hmm. I just Yeah. But then finally it came in form one and I was at home as well, it was during vacation. Mm -hmm. And it came like evening time and I was like, Oh my gosh, what is this? Yeah. 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 Right? And the first person that I talked to though was my dad. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I was like, emergency, emergency. I have something. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I see something bad happen. That's good. Okay. Yeah, and then he started telling me everything. I love the response he gave you as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Right. good. Mine was in form one or form two. Because I was like the youngest in my class. So everybody was like, yeah, I get mine. You didn't get yours yet? Like, what's wrong with you? Um, and I was like, no way. I just, maybe I'll just. Smally, smally. Mm. I got my home, and my mother was like, You're not going to school today, so I get the other one. And she gave her a bite. And she was like, Oh my gosh, you're a big girl now. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. she started crying. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> because, yeah, and almost made me cry. But oh, it was like okay, a cute yeah, mother daughter bonding moment. Yeah, that was my first experience. You all got like your periods like late and the sense, like the last. I was the first. I got oh. my period in standard nine. Who's standard nine? Standard three when I was nine. And I, oh! oh. I was the first person in my class in the whole block to get my period. So I, yeah, <laughs> I've had my period for more than half of my lifespan. So I can't. I don't know what it's like to not. I can't remember what it's like to not have a period. So. Okay, how did it feel like when it first came? Like shocked. I had two. I have two sisters, mm. so I was very aware of what a period was. Mm. Okay. So I woke up, you know, used the washroom. I was like, oh, like she's here. Like to yeah. me, it was like, oh, I knew this was coming. Everybody in my period, every all the girls in my family got their period very early, yeah. so I expected it. Okay. And it's just been been rocking with it. We all had good experiences. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I was home. Okay, so yeah. all of us were home. We were home. Yeah. We were safe <laughs> in a safe home. environment. Home, yeah. Literally. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice right. for us. One more uh, question. Oh my god, I think that's cancer. Oh, 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 I think we use that as an excuse to like that, act yeah. abnormal, which exactly. is abnormal. Insane. Yeah, abnormal. That we're cranky, moody. People yeah. say that's only tidbit that we're moody or cranky or those type of things, but it's an actual thing. Yeah. yeah. If I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know it had a name. Me too. I just thought it was like, oh, my period comes. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Right? When I heard PMS, I was like, oh, is this like some addition to it? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, no, there's, there's, a, there's a premium subscription on the period or something like. But then now that I got to socialize myself, yeah. on it, I was like, oh, okay. okay but but yeah, as soon as you start acting, as you say, we are grumpy. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, you on your period. Yeah. How yeah. dare you? Ask me that. Don't because yeah. that's upsetting. It's yeah. an actual thing. If yeah, I think if it was the other way around, yeah. that would not have happened. Yeah, yeah, we exactly. couldn't be like, oh, see so you on your period. That's yeah, that's why you're being a fool today. Like, no. Yeah, that's no, it's an actual yeah, that's why we have attitudes. Hormonal yeah. changes yeah. taking yeah. place. Not and that things we can't control. Yeah. Like, isn't it like four stages or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Ovulation. Um, um, menstrual thing. Oh boy. And the other one, the last one, I can't call the other one. I don't know. Something. See, we also need to yes. brush up a little yeah. bit. We also yeah. need to people think we are experts in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, people don't know no. their cycle. And honestly, yeah. Yeah, the most, this, the most popular ones is menstruation and ovulation. So everybody yeah. will know that. And then yeah. you start your cycle with menstruation. That's yeah. the first thing. And turns yeah. out, apparently, it's like we only have one week or a few days in the month where we're actually good. Good. Yeah. So. Yeah. I kind of feel sorry for you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Break. So it's yeah. not our it's period, it's just us. It's yeah. life. It's, it's, it's hormones and all kind of stuff mixed yeah. up and 
playing with each other. Like. Exactly. Okay, but also, um, guys, we need to talk about, you know, period poverty. Yeah. That's a very big thing. Yes, it is. Bad. It's yeah. very yeah. sad, too. I didn't realize how big of a topic it was in Trinidad. Yeah. I think only after COVID. Coronavirus! I that, damn, oh this yeah. thing is serious. And then really? there was a shortage of parts yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 But which was so yeah. sad. Yeah. Not to mention the tax as well, too, yeah. like we were talking about mm -hmm. Imani. And yeah. to hear her call out the statistics and the different things involved, it was like a wake up call. Exactly. And honestly, I think recently it had a country that was able to allow for free yeah. period um, yeah. products. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I really wish Trinidad would reach that point as well. Yeah. You know? I know, like, within Trinidad locally, there are people that do give out pads and stuff. I've seen it on yes. TikTok. Yeah. A lot yeah. of companies making their own conscious decision to do yeah. that. So we're not lost for all. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's hope still. There are people trying. And then there's also yeah, 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 exactly bank. Right, there's people right. trying. So and then no. there's also like yeah. the regular person you see. So sometimes you ask a girl on the side of the room, like, "Hey, do you have a card?" Yeah. And she would and give you. No, but yeah, I feel so, so good. bad when yeah, someone asks me and I don't have a card. I feel oh, like yeah. I just committed a crime. I feel like it's the worst thing I can possibly do. I wasn't my sister's keeper. I'm like, what's wrong with your brain? Yeah. Let this encourage you to see how you can help and how you can, as a, as a woman, as a man, do better yeah. when it comes to periods and conversations and debunking myths or stigmas that aren't necessary to place on us. So, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to stay tuned to DSSD's Instagram. Um, and and our YouTube. And our YouTube. Mm -hmm. What she said. And, <laughs> and have a good day. This was a really good episode. Thank you. Bye. Hope to see you again. Bye. <laughs>